Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for a week commencing the 11th of March 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, create your future and transform your present. Raise your consciousness, remember why you are here, step out of that spiritual closet to take the steps to fill your purpose in this lifetime. Take charge of your destiny so that you can spread your wings and soar. Now, this week we're going to be using the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. But before we get started, as always, I'd like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And with that in mind, don't forget I am running the first of the Angelic Reiki workshops at this coming weekend, Angelic Reiki 1 and 2. And there is one space left if you would like to connect with the angelic realms and learn this beautiful healing modality. And of course, if angelic Reiki is not your thing, but you want to slip forwards and backwards in time, then I am going to be running on the 19th, 20th and 21st of July, a Future Life Progression Practitioners training where you get to um, not only be able to do future life progression, but also uh, past life regression as well, and many other things in between. So if that's of interest to you, please do contact me direct. So as always, I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? We commence in 11th of March, 2024, okay. <clears throat> We'll go with those two. What does everyone who's watching this thing over there? It's good for you convinced him. Okay. So let's see what we've got. Okay, we have got Rhiannon, Sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Aphrodite, inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care and appreciating your divinity and Kuan Yin compassion release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone okay so what they're saying for you this week is know that you are a magical person you know you are this person who can bring their magic their wisdom their light um, into into being at this time on earth but you have to have clear intentions with it it can't just be oh I want this you need to have reasons why you want it um, you know and it's got to be for the highest good of yourself and others so you know get clear this week what is it you want to bring into your life what is going to be of benefit to you to others that is going to make your life so much better and the life of others around you so much better as well. And remember that intentions and words are spells, they're magic. So do be careful also about what you want to bring into reality. But also awaken that goddess within you, that inner strength, that inner knowing that you are a beautiful human being. You know, tap into that energy this week, whether that is self-care, whether that's dancing, meeting up with friends, having fun playing. Just, just let that joy out of you this, this week. You know, appreciate how divine you are. You know, that you are this magical person who can create anything you want in your life. You can create your life. Um, you know, you can sculpt your life. You just have to be clear and be precise and and go with the flow. And with that in mind, you know, have compassion. You know, let go of judgment of yourself, of others. You know, at the moment, there's so much with, with the media and everything. You know, people say, take this side, take that side. You know, all this conflict that's being created between people you know, that doesn't need to be there. If we can see beyond that, um, what, what we're being, what we're being, what's being thrown us, if we can see beyond that, we can see into other people's souls. We can see that higher advantage. We can have compassion 
You know, we don't have to agree with what other people say, think or do. But we have to release judgment. That is what they know, believe, understand, whether we agree with that or not. But we have to have compassion for each other, because if we don't have compassion, how can we all work with each other and create this wonderful earth, you know, that we all want, that all deep within us, we all want this beautiful world for, our, for ourselves, for our children, for our children's children, for the animals. And we can only do that with compassion and less judgment of, of our, ourselves and others. So if, it's, if you find it hard to have compassion for others, which it, which it can be, then start with yourself. Start with having that compassion for yourself. Stop judging yourself for what you can or you can't do, for what other people judge, never judge you for. You don't need to be judged by anyone. You just need to be and accept who you are. So go within, you know, find that compassion for yourself. And when you find that compassion, compassion, you stop from that judgment with yourself, then move on to other family members, to friends, and then out into the wider world. And you'll be amazed at how quickly this ripple effect starts taking place and things around you start shifting and changing. You know, and you can have that compassion and that, um, and stop judging yourself. If you go within, you find that inner goddess, you do that self-care for yourself. You look after yourself. You take the time to nurture yourself, have fun, enjoyment. And to set intentions for what you really want that's going to be for the benefit, not just of you, but for everyone close to you in the world. So, yeah, so this week, it really is a lot of working on yourself going within, finding that beauty within you, that goddess, that inner knowing, that intention of what you really want Aram, to bring into the world, what you want to manifest, and having that compassion and love for yourself, letting go of all the judgment and fears, and seeing and knowing your inner beauty, which then radiates out and starts creating that ripple effect. But anyway, that's the, um, the only information I'm given this week. As always, you know, this is my interpretation of the cards. You may get a completely different interpretation, and that is absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So if you get a different reading or one card resonates more with you, then go with that. You know, if there's a particular card, how, you know, how do the words resonate with you? How does the picture resonate with you? Um, you know, and, and meditate on it. And please do let me know in the comments. You know, I replied to everyone who messaged me privately or publicly. I always like to hear your thoughts, whether they resonated or they didn't resonate with you. So the cards again are Rhiannon, Sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Get clear on what you want it is. And you can bring that into life. Aphrodite, inner goddess, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care and appreciating your divinity. You are a divine being. Have fun this week. Look after yourself. And when you look after yourself, you have fun, that self-care. Then you have Kuan Yin, compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within all of us. See the love and light in you, in others, all around you. Start with yourself, animals. Bring that compassion, open your heart. So please do, um, as I said, let me know in the comments. And um, don't forget to check out my show, Angels and Destiny, which is taking place um, on Monday the 11th. So if you're watching this on Sunday evening, it's taking place uh, tomorrow at 8 p.m. UK time. If you're watching this on Monday 11th, it takes place this evening. If you're watching later in the week, then please do watch the replay. Uh, my guest is going to be the beautiful Inaya Oakroot, and I do hope I've pronounced her name right, and I'm looking forward to that conversation um, with what we've talked about so far. It's going to be a good one. And don't forget to check out um, Angelic Craig if that calls to you, or 
Future Life Progression. I'm so, so I love running both these workshops. Um, I'm in my element when I, when, I, when I run them. I love teaching. Anyway, have a wonderful week. Have some self-love and compassion for yourself and have some fun. See you next week. Bye.